thank you so much for coming. Um, and we've come together, we've discussed today, we've learned, we've ignited a, a sort of a new type of mindset of how we can do things, how we can brand ourselves, how we can find purpose, um, how we can stumble forward and keep moving, um, how we can find a calling in life. And personally, from this panel I've just heard now, how you can have a voice out there and empower others. Learning, doing, and creating. And these are the things, in my opinion, per that creates purpose. If you learn, you find purpose. If you do, you find purpose. If you create, you find purpose. And because all these things are for a purpose. You learn for a purpose, you create for a purpose, and you do for a purpose. I know that we all have visions. Everybody has visions. But the collaboration of vision, I don't know what I would call it. Would it be a different name? Would it be visionists or something like that? If we put it all together, because everybody has a vision. I'm sure if I asked everybody in here, do you have a vision, do you have a dream? Everybody wants to do it. But if we all like were competing with ourselves forever, we would never move forward. I felt like people were not purposefully um, finding positivity in the world and they were not purposefully doing the good things in the world because uh, this is how society is or this is the way it is, we cannot change it. And so I wanted to really create the accountability, the responsibility and also purpose, mixing them together to create a direction for people. Over the course of several months, we have been following Sam Talks to reveal the inner workings of his startup, Eco Africa. During this time, we have documented the life of Samuel and how his vision would change the world view of Africa, making it a fully functioning independent country and allowing people to rise up to solve local and global problems relating to the UN goals. One of the biggest problems in Manchester is homelessness. Um, around the city you can see a lot of homeless people going around. Um, but everybody wants to solve this problem, but we don't have one platform to get ourselves to solve the problem. We don't have one platform that we can showcase all the impact that charities are doing around Manchester. So, we've asked people and it looks like it's time for a new digital social platform. The Eco is about to do it. The Eco is all of ours. So let's do it. Let's do it. Hi, I am Sam, uh, a digital economist and an innovator, and this is my story. From coming to the Western world, I saw a lot of innovation, a lot of new things happening everywhere. People were um, new buildings, new cars, new roads. There was no conflict. Everything was moving so peacefully. And I thought to myself, why is this not in Africa? We don't have that purpose as, as, a, as, a, as a black community to say, this is what we want. Then I should be able to do the things that I'm supposed to do for myself and the people around me and so that purpose we, we're not really um, selling it out to our young people like okay you know what take this mantle now this is your your ID card in a way to be able to say what you need to say as a black person why don't we have uh, new ideas in Africa why we not have an innovation why people not working together to collaborate or why is there conflict um, and this sparked up something in me where I thought I want to take this innovation is happening over here or all these new without conflict city to Africa. Um, in 2015, um, an epiphany, an awakening awoke in me and I started the Eco Platform. So we're building a platform called the Eco Platform. The ECO stands for Environment, Community and Organization. What we do is that we collect problems from around different parts of the world and we connect people to solve those problems under uh, a sovereign identity on the platform. Yeah. So you can, you can collaborate and solve problems, you can collaborate and get tasks. We want to create a new way of, of working and a new way of raising money and a new way of solving problems. Mm. How do you feel about that sort of platform? I think that'd be a good sort of platform to have. It reminds me of, I believe that there's, within the programming world, there's things like that for people to contribute with code. Yeah. So it sounds like a similar sort of thing. And, I think something like that, but being for more generic audience would be better. Amazing. Yes. Thanks for that. 
Okay, well, in terms of the future of work, I think we're already there because we're so connected. And the way that we work with my business is I have people working with me and for me all over the world. So I have somebody in Lusaka in Zambia, somebody in Lagos, uh, somebody in Slovakia. And I think it's about coming together to collaborate on project by project basis, having multiple plates spinning, working together when it works for all parties, and then going off and doing your own thing. That's the way I see work, work, uh, work being from now on, because it's risk-free then, it's really exciting, and it's something we can do because technology actually has facilitated that. The Echo platform is really interesting. When I think about economic activity, I think about the traditional way in which it's been measured. And then you get the PPP comparisons that say that this country is, and that country are different by this amount, which is a helpful move towards understanding what GDP per person really is. Now, fine, but actually, it doesn't measure what it should and I think that the ECHO concept is one that is worth exploring fully. It's, it's very um, forward-thinking, it's very progressive. I think there's going to be significant changes and you know what we see in Africa is there are many things which can give Africa the upper edge by leapfrogging uh, certain things which are in place today. So for me, this is something that you know really has a strong potential in the future, and you know we're going to see a lot of uh, uh, moving forward, definitely. You asked me about the future for the Echo. Well, I would say, look at Mount Everest, and you're standing on a molehill at the moment, at the bottom of a molehill. You got to go up the molehill, then you got to go up the hillock, then you got to go up the hill, then you go up the mountain, then you get into the Himalayas. Then you've got to go up and onto. I mean, can you imagine the Financial Times saying, we're not going to quote GDP anymore, we're going to use this new measurement, the echo. Okay, who's going to understand that? How are you going to change the financial mentality of the business community and the political community to look at something that is unknown and unproved? The common saying is, gather is a new gold. But where is he priced? How is he priced? And why is he priced? The major question would be, what are you sharing on social media? Why are you sharing it on social media? And who are you connected to on social media? This seems to be the fact that problems are expanding in the world, but the solutions are shrinking. The open economy involves enterprising, labor, capital, and also landed property and even education done in a different way using a blockchain system that keeps a ledger of every transaction in problems, project, and task. Projects are enacted in the world, but nobody knows where they are. Education and work is changing, but technology has not caught up. The Echo offers the opportunity for us to connect and empower ourselves for a new digital economy. We want to create a world where people and organization can work together under a blockchain system, secured, transparent, and open for people to work together and solve local and global problems. The internet offers this opportunity, digitalization offers this opportunity, and social media offers this opportunity. We, as an organization, are just merging it together to form a new economy. We welcome you to join us. We welcome you to donate to our cause. And hopefully together, we can do this.